So this fourth example, this fraction right here, is called a mixed number because we have a whole number and we have a proper fraction. So since I have a mixed number, I can switch this over, I can change this to make it look like an improper fraction. So the first thing I do here, so I take the denominator of 5, I'm going to multiply it to the whole number, okay? And then I take that number and add it to the top number, the numerator. So I do 5 times 8, which is 40. I'm going to add the top number, so it's going to be 44. That goes in the numerator of my improper fraction. And then the denominator has to stay the same. So then the denominator for this fraction is 5, so it's going to stay a 5 here. So this is an improper fraction because the top number is bigger than the bottom number. So 8 and 4 fifths would be the same thing as 44 over 5. Okay? Thank you for watching Educator.com.